What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how you can properly render out an Unreal Engine for those of you that don't know how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now for this example, I'm using Unreal Engine 5, but you can still use these steps in Unreal Engine 4 as well. And so I have my scene right here. If I click on play, I just have a little scene that I built in Cinema 4D. I brought everything over to Unreal Engine. And let's say that everything is ready to be rendered out. So I know the first thing that people usually do is they come up the window, they come down to cinematics, they come down to movie render queue, click on this green button, you find your sequencer right there. And then let's say we're just going to do a JPEG output. We're just going to save it maybe to like our desktop or something, make a new folder here, select this folder, leave everything else as is. And let's say you're ready to render out, you hit render, and then everything starts to accumulate here. But then the first thing you notice is it's not rendering within your camera. And that's because you need to add a camera cuts track to this so that Unreal Engine knows where to properly render out the camera information from. So let me actually stop this. And then I'm going to delete this in here. Let me come back here. And so I'm inside of my sequencer window as I was before. And so we want to click on this button that says track. And we want to come over here to camera cuts track. Now, if I select this, we're going to see a camera cuts track at the very top and you want to select on the plus sign camera. So if you select this here, you want to select the camera that you want to render from. So this is really important. So I have my camera underscore one in here. I'm going to select this and then down here inside of your sequencer, you're going to see your scene in here. So if I scroll through here, everything's going to play back and everything. But if I click on the camera in here, now we're inside the camera view. I click play and everything is playing accordingly. You can see we're in the correct resolution in here. I'm in 16 by nine and everything is good. So I wanna just pause this right here, go back to the beginning. And before I render this out, I actually wanna just click right here where you see the double arrows, just drag it out a couple of frames. So it has a couple of frames to warm up to and everything. And I also like doing it at the end, but it's only gonna render out the in and out points, which is the green bar right here and the red bar right here. So now you wanna click on the save key right here and then you're going to want to come back up here to your window, come down here to cinematics, come over back to your render movie queue, find your sequencer, and then let's go through the same step again. So I'm going to come back to my desktop, just make another folder here, select this folder, say everything is good to go. I'm going to accept it and then I'm going to hit render local. And now after this accumulates, everything should render through a camera like so. So now we're seeing the real time playback as it's rendering, everything is playing through our camera and we're good to go. So hopefully this will help you guys out. If you're new to Unreal Engine, I know a couple of years ago, this is information that I didn't personally have. So it took me a while to figure this out. Then more recently, a couple of people like my friend Don Allen, who's recently getting into Unreal Engine, he was having trouble with this as well. And so I thought I would put together this little quick tip to help you guys out. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I See you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.